Okay, so ladies, if I can have your attention, please, because if you don't hear a single thing I tell you all evening long and you hear about this one product, I have totally done my job. Often I get asked what my favorite product is, and without a doubt, in 11 years, it is this new Rock Croc. It is a piece of glazed ceramic. It is glazed on the inside and on the outside, except for the little ring on the bottom. There, um, there's a few things that you need to know about the pan, and I'll tell you about that after I tell you how you're going to use this pan. It will do everything a piece of cookware and a piece of stoneware will do kind of married together. It will go on your stovetops, soups, stews, chilies, beef stew, these, those type of things. It will go in your oven. So casseroles, cakes, upside down pineapple cake, egg souffle, mac and cheese. It will go in your microwave. So we're going to do a cake in the microwave, but it's called a s'more cake that we're going to do in the microwave. It can go in your dishwasher. Whoop, whoop. Um, so you do not have to hand wash this. It will go even on your outdoor gas grill, so it is heat safe up to 752 degrees. This is a tool for your men, this is a tool for you, this is a power tool you need in your kitchen. Um, literally, this will be something that you will go to time and time again. Why do we need high heat sensitivity? When you are cooking with high temperatures, you can create the burnt on bits that create a really good beef stew. High temperature creates depth of flavor that you cannot get in nonstick pans. But you don't have the cleanup of stainless steel, the scrubbing of stainless steel. It does retain a lot of heat, so the first time I cooked a soup in it, um, and I took it, I shut the burner off, my soup was still boiling, and I was stirring it, and then I took it off the burner, and it was still boiling, and I was stirring it, so it took me a little time to realize that because it's ceramic, it's going to retain the heat, but how great is that when you're doing like a chili or something like that, and you turn the chili on to low, and it'll stay warm, or you shut it off, and it stays warm for a long time afterwards, so during the football game, people can keep coming out and getting chili from your rock rock, and it's going to still be warm to the last bite. I'm using our, um, oh, by the way, the glass cover is uh, heat safe up to 400 degrees because it is glass, but um, it works great. And it's got little beveled edges on um, the edges of it for venting. So I am using our mix and masher here. This is perfect for any type of uh, nonstick or ceramic surface. It is made for mashed potatoes, actually. It works great and work to the back of your pan. It has little pointed edges and it's a really, really firm. Um, uh, nylon. So we have a really thick cake. See how thick this Ooh, cake is? Yeah. It's like really, really thick. And we're going to put this in the microwave. Can you tell me for how many minutes we're microwaving the cake and whether it's covered or On uncovered? On high, 30 to 60 seconds or until moistened, moistly melted. Oh, that's the chocolate. Oh, that's the yeah. chocolate. Okay. okay. Pie and cake, blah, 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 Dutch. Four to five minutes. Okay. Until the side of the cake. Covered. covered. Okay, great. So we're going to put the cover on it. We're, we're going to put it in the microwave four to five minutes. So um, you basically want it to spring back to touch. And I'm going to microwave our chips 30 more seconds. So you really want to use Hershey's candies for this recipe because Hershey's melt really well. And we are making s'mores and there's nothing better than a Hershey's candy bar for s'mores. Um, you can use a full bag of large marshmallows or you can use the smaller marshmallows. The key to the marshmallows is making sure that the marshmallows sit evenly on top of the um, cake. So take the time to sit them down in. You don't want to just pour them on and have uh, a peak at the top because the peak is what catches on fire underneath uh, the broiler. Okay. So um, you'll watch me and I'll put those all down in, so in there. So we're going to melt our chocolate chips. We're doing it that in our silicone prep bowls. I love these because it's perfect when you're doing chocolates uh, when you want to go ahead and pour because it gives you more control. Four minutes, sorry. Now what can you use if you don't have the silicone um, Any of the black prep bowls, you could use uh, one of these for pouring. I would use this probably because this will pour and then you can use a that spatula. Can microwave? Yeah, yeah, it's microwave safe. So um, you can just melt your chocolate. We have our broiler on. Um, so while that's cooking, I'm going to talk a little bit about um, uh, hosting a show. So tell me here, how many of you guys have ever been a host before? You've hosted your own Pampered Chef show. Oh, quite a few of you. Excellent. So let me tell you, those of you who have never hosted a show before, grab your catalogs, turn to page 65 with me, because I'm going to talk about all the benefits of hosting a show. So for starters, I want to thank Marcy for having us here. It's so amazing that you opened your house to your family and friends. Um, thank you all for coming, for inviting her family and friends here. Let me tell you all the benefits that Marcy is going to get. So let's assume Marcy does $1,000 show. A $1,000 show comes from inviting all of her family and friends here. It also comes from uh, inviting your family and friends out of state. Passing the catalog around work. 
what's going to happen is all those people who can't come to the show live can place orders online and have it drop shipped anywhere in the United States. So don't exclude anybody when you're hosting um, a show of your own. Make sure you invite everybody you know. Because a lot of times people are waiting for somebody to have a Pampered Chef show because they need a new stone or they have a wedding gift they need to give or we're going into graduations. The grads need to eat. So we have tools that are perfect graduation gifts, Father's Day, Mother's Day, weddings, um, you know, birthdays. We have all different types of gift-giving ideas. So at $1,000, Marcy is going to get $215 in free products. That can be anything she wants in the catalog. We're not limited to what she can purchase. In addition to that, she can choose five half price items. And I'm just going to borrow your catalog for just a quick second because I want to point out a couple things. Marcy, if you just wanted that manual food processor at half price or that rock rock at half price, you can get that as a half price item. But I'm going to point out some specials that you can also get when you are the hostess. You can get our entire stainless steel cookware set or our non-stick cookware set, our five-piece scraper set, or our glass leak-proof containers. Any one of these counts as one of your half-price items. So the entire cookware set can be a half-price item when you host a show of your own. And that's true whether you do a catalog show, a fundraiser, a cooking show, a bridal shower, it doesn't matter. In the center spread of your catalog, which is page 34 and 35, we have some of our top-selling products. So if the Rock Croc Dutch Oven is on your wish list, you can get that with the um, three wooden spoons and the Rock Croc recipe booklet, the entire thing, as one of your half-price items. Uh, our grill pan, grill press, scraper collection, a rub, that whole thing, again, a half-price item. So if it is listed as a set in here, like our entire knife block set, you can get that entire knife block set as a half-price when you host a show of your own. The savings don't end there. Let me tell you one more thing. I know, it's pretty crazy, huh? In addition to that, because we are in the month of May, Marcy gets to choose any one of these host specials at 60% off. So I know Marcy really had her eye on the cool and serve tray or the, I call it the drunken chicken pan. This is called the beer can chicken. Um, there's a metal piece that snaps into the center gear, and you can either put chicken broth or a beer can or a soda in it, and you take an entire roaster chicken and set it down on top of it, and you cook it on your outdoor gas grill. It's amazing. The cool and serve tray, which you'll see at the very beginning of your catalog, um, is a great product for any type of entertaining. Um, you'll see it. It's listed with deviled eggs on one side, with a fruit and dip on one side, a cucumber lime dip with vegetables. I do a great Keith Bar crunch with vanilla wafers. That is a great savory, uh, sweet and savory oh, you can move the trays around. You can move the trays around. You can flip it over so it does all deviled eggs. You can take all the trays out and get um, 24 frosted cupcakes in there with a the cover. So it is a great tool. And Marcy normally would pay $46.50 for that. She's only going to pay $18.60 for that piece. For you guests that are here, let me tell you what you're going to get. This month is May, Health with Cancer Month, so we have exclusive pink products that are only available in May and October. A dollar from each of these goes to the American Cancer Society for the early detection of breast cancer. So you know that you'll be supporting breast cancer. And when your order is over $60 or more, you're going to get a free ice cream scoop worth $9.50, which is perfect because we're going into the summer season. One last flyer that I want to tell you about uh, because Father's Day is just around the corner and this is available only in May, okay? This is a Father's Day or graduation type thing. We have a great trunk tote. We have a lunch box that will sit an entire water bottle straight up or a Powerade bottle if your kids are in sports. Or we have these collapsible coolers which are fabulous. They are like a tailgating party. They have a beer bottle opener on the backside. They are completely water and leak proof. I bring them to the beach as a picnic basket because the top has a little peekaboo cover. And I don't know, if you have small kids, they're always in. Sip of juice box, putting it back. Sip of juice box, putting it back. And they never zip it back up. Well, this little thing is Velcroed and weight lifted. So you lift it up, they reach in, it shuts. They lift it up, they put it back, it shuts. So it's a really great tool and it collapses down so that it's nice and flat. So, um, so I just want to tell you about that. Um, if I were booking my June, um, if all of my May was booked up, because we're at the end of the month now, I would be talking about the June specials and what's so great about June and what gifts that they would be getting at that point. So, you notice I'm able to actually hold this with my hands and not have to use a pot holder for it. Um, I'm going to do one more minute because the cake is a little gooey in the center. Um, so you just want it to be firm to the touch. It should bounce back. We've preheated our oven um, for broiling. And now, uh, while we're going to take care of this, I'm going to do uh, a ticket activity game. So 
This is your chance to earn a recipe card. Um, I only have eight recipe cards, so um, I'm only taking eight questions today. If you have more questions after this, I'd be happy to help you at checkout. Um, but this is your opportunity to ask me anything you ever wanted to know about Pampered Chef, about direct sales, about how I make my money, what I do for a living, anything about that. Now, if you ask me a question about a product, I'll answer it, but you don't get a recipe card for that. Only business-related questions. So, who wants to go first? Yes. Do you have to know how to cook? Excellent question. I am a perfect example of that. I do not know how to cook. I cook, my husband laughed. He's like, oh, you like to cook? I said, no, I like to entertain. I love having people over, and unfortunately, they like to eat. So I had to learn to cook in the process. So I have told my team members, as long as you can read and you can run a microwave, you can be a Pampered Chef consultant. I am a perfect example of that. So yes, all of our recipes are super easy, as you just saw, and um, can be done in no time. Next question. For someone who may not want to get extra gifts all the time, may be more kind of looking at needing extra money, I mean, is there, is that possible or are you more working for them to get the extra stuff? No, we work for money. We actually get a commission check. So, although I earn all of the products for free because they give all of us consultants an opportunity. Not that it wouldn't be nice. Twice a year, yes. So, by the way, you can pick a recipe card from there. Um, so, uh, we get the opportunity to earn all of our products for free twice a year when they come out, but I actually work for money. So, you as a new consultant earn between 20 and 25% commission on everything that you sell. And the more people you have on your team, the more your commission goes up. And so, I'll, I'll answer that when you guys ask more questions about that. Well, I get all my marshmallows in line. So yes, we, we actually earn income, and a brand new consultant earns about $100 per show based on a $500 show. Great question. Next question. Yes, Marshall. How many shows do you have in a month? Excellent. So because you own your own business, you can choose how often or how little you want to work. So you want to work it around your system. I consider myself full-time in Pampered Chef, um, and so full-time for me is about 10 or 12 shows a month. So those of you out there who are working full-time jobs, you're working 20 days a month. I'm working 12 shifts. And my shift, as you'll see by the time I leave tonight, is probably three, three and a half hours. Um, so I'll do two shifts on a Saturday. I'll do an 11 o'clock and a 6 o'clock. So I'll do two shows on a Saturday, and that's two out of my 12 shifts that I need to do in order to produce full-time income. Great question, Marcy. Next. How does the team thing work? You're part of a team and then you can build your own team? Yes, great. So much that time. is a great question and I will answer that as soon as I show you my fabulous marshmallows. Now notice how my marshmallows are all in a single line. None are poked up. The reason we're going to do that is because we are going to go ahead and we're going to put this in the oven and I'm going to stand there with pop holders on and I'm going to answer your questions while I watch the marshmallows so they do not burst into flames. Okay? Because I do not so, have a fire extinguisher. Yes, so that's all right. Well, if they did, you would just take them out, put the cover on them. If that happened, you have the cover near you on the stove top in case that ever burst into flames. That would be what I would suggest. And then you could take it out, put the cover on it, it would extinguish it. And then, honestly, you just scrape the burnt marshmallows off and put it back under the broiler again and watch them the second time so that they don't burn. Okay? okay? So. Alright, so I am going to explain to you, let's see if we have a light here. Yes, uh, oven light. Um, I am going to explain to you how the um, team works. So, if you decide you want to be trained in the leadership part of Pampered Chef versus being trained as just a consultant, you would um, learn, come to our team trainings and team meetings and take some of my um, video classes and you would learn how to share your love of the Pampered Chef business with other people. And when you do that, you will earn an, a percentage of everything you sell. So maybe um, if you had one team member on your team, mm -hmm. you would earn 1% more on everything you sell, and you would earn 1% on everything your team sells. And if you had two team members, you would earn 2% of everything you're selling more. So instead of 20 to 25%, you'd be earning 27 and 22 to 27, and um, you'd earn two percent of everything your team sells. And when you become a director, which I highly recommend, it, that's five active team members and mm -hmm. um, team sales of 5,000, you earn a 3% increase on everything you sell and everything your team sells. And that may not seem like a lot, but my highest commission check was $5,400 in one month doing temperature. 
and over $1,000 of that was team overrides. So you only can do so many shows a month, but yeah. the larger your team grows and the better you train your team, the more income. So the income is really unlimited. You really can go very far with this company. Who has the next question? Ta -da. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Isn't that beautiful? All right, so now we are just going to drizzle um, with chocolate and then we're going to put the graham crackers on. So, and then we'll be done our some more cake. So, go ahead and ask the next questions and I will answer for you. How far do you travel, Sue? That's a great oh, question. Oh, that's a really good question. Uh, I get that question a lot. Um, you know, you can go as far or as close as you want. We have team members that are down in Keene. We have team members in Vermont. We have team members in Massachusetts. So if you have a show and you don't want to travel for that, we can always give it to somebody on our team. But there are no territories, so you can go wherever your leads take you. So how do you find people if you just moved to a new area and you don't have a lot of friends and family around and you don't know anybody, how do you... Where do you get your leads from? Where do you from? get your leads from? That is a great question. So one of the things that I do is I teach my team what are called out and abouts. And I'll explain what that is while I put this in more cake here. And you guys can uh, take a peek and serve up. Doesn't that look lovely? Ooh. All right. So that was easy. That was about that a nine-minute really cake. Easy. Um, so here's how you get to do out and about. So the first thing I would do is we all have family, friends, neighbors, coworkers, or relatives that normally will help you jumpstart your business. Mm -hmm. So those are the people that we're going to rely on first. Next, I'm going to teach you how to uh, talk to people, whether it's at the grocery store or um, at the bookstore, wherever you go. So here's an example for me. Christmas time, um, I either wear logo gear or I have a little purse that has mini catalogs in it. Something that identifies me as the Pamper Chef consultant. They sell um, these cute little tote bags, and if it's a full-size catalog inside it, you take it everywhere you go. People recognize Pamper Chef. They go, oh my God, do you do Pamper Chef? So at the bookstore this winter, I said, yes, I do. When was the last time you hosted a show? That's what you want to ask. You don't say, yeah, I love Pamper Chef too. So you say, when was the last time you hosted a show? And they say, oh, it's been forever. You say, you should see all the new products in our spring summer catalog. I would love to show you the guest specials. If you would fill out, and I pull out my mini catalog, and I have a sticky note on it. And I say, if you'll just fill out your name, email, and phone number, I'd be happy to send you the guest specials. And when you see something you like, you just give me a call. So now you are collecting their information. So you're just getting that one person. They're getting the party together. It's yes. not like you're getting eight you people just need, together. You're no, just getting the one. I just need a hostess. Because the, then I teach the hostess how to get shows going. That makes so a lot more sense. So the lady at the bookstore, her name was Chloe. She's the sweetest little thing. Uh, she's getting married soon. Um, she said, oh my God, my mom loves Pampered Chef. I, I bet you my mom would be interested. I might be interested in doing a show. And I said, well, give me your information, Chloe, and I'll send you a follow-up with the special. She said, great. Now, she had my contact information on my order form. They will never, never, never call you. Never. Okay? They won't. You have to follow up. We are the consultant. So um, I got home. I forgot. It was Christmas shopping season. I forgot for two days. And then I sent her an email saying it was really nice meeting you at the bookstore, Chloe, blah, 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 blah. Here's the specials. If you would like to secure a date on my calendar, you know, please let me know. Within 10 minutes, she responded, I've been waiting to hear from you. Now, she had my contact information. She will never call. I'm telling you, if you don't make follow-up calls, you're losing business. Mm -hmm. I called her right up. I said, great, when you want to schedule it, we booked a date. She did a $1,000 show. She booked multiple shows off of that, and she's a solid recruit lead because um, she'd be great at this. So I'm not giving up. I'm just going to keep in touch with her until she's ready to do it. She's getting married. She's a little busy right now, but um, and she just took a new job. But she will be great at Pampered Chef, and she will be a part of my team, do or die. So that was, um, and I am doing shows for people of people of people. It's like six degrees of separation. So you book a show with your aunt. You're going to know your aunt, your grandmother, and your cousins. Mm -hmm. You're not going to know your aunt's coworkers. You're not going to know your aunt's neighbors. And that's what we're going to do. When you start your own business, we're going to ask those few people that you do know to not only host a show for you, but to invite people you do not know to that show. Because our goal is to get you outside of your family and friend circle within three shows. It's not even going to start from there. Okay. Family's far away. And okay. 
pretty much the only people I know in town is okay. Right here. So <laughs> out and abouts are going to be your friends. So yeah. what you're going to do is you're going to take ten catalogs a day, and you're going to go into local businesses, and you're going to say. Um, hi, I just wanted to introduce myself. I'm a local business person. My name is Emily. I'm with the Pampered Chef. I just want to drop some catalogs off. I just wanted to let you know, you know, that I'm here. And if, if I can service, you know, any of your Pampered Chef needs, let me know. And by the way, I've put some specials in here. And if you book a show in the next 30 days, I have a special gift for you. And I'll explain how that works. And so you leave that information and then you say, and by the way, if when I leave here, you think of somebody that would be interested in hosting a show and they call me and they give me your name as a reference, I will give you a, a gift for referring my name. So my contact information is on the back and it was really nice meeting you and I just want to let you know that I'm in the area. And so you go out and you do that. Um, now, it, it takes time. I went into the bank and I have gotten a show from and recruited one of my bankers. You know, but it took time. You, you talk to people. So, yeah. But if you're intentional about meeting people and talking about your business, you certainly can um, strum up business. And anything you do today will yield results in 90 days from now. So right now we're going into the summer. You are really building up your fall, which is when the new catalog comes out now. So you're selling right now, but you're building your fall show schedule. What other questions? We have a couple more questions before we go ahead and serve up our cake. Um, for a beginner, there, I know there's different packages you can buy to start with. Yay, How you starter start? kit. I'm so glad you said that. So everybody grab their catalog. I want you guys to all flip to the outside back cover of your catalog. I'm going to show you the two starter kits that are available. Where else but in America can you start a business for $99 and turn a profit in your first 30 days? I went to college for business. Let me tell you, most companies fail in their first five years. You have zero failure right here. If you follow my instructions and you set up eight live shows in your first 30 days, not only will you pay back the money that you purchased your kit on. So let's say you pay for your kit in a credit card. Before your credit card bill comes in, if you have set up your shows like I instruct you to, you will have paid off your credit card, you will have pocketed money, and you will have gotten PC dollars, which I call monopoly money. It's like money that Pampered Chef banks for you that you can use to buy more products or door prizes or things like that. Mm -hmm. And there's unlimited amount of PC dollars that you can earn in your first 90 days. So for every $1,250 you sell, you start earning Pampered Chef dollars. So it just starts rolling in at your first $1,250. I've had a couple girls on my team do their first show, their grand opening show was over $1,250. So they, they got PC dollars right from the get-go and it just kept going. So, um, and you get $590 in the $160 kit and $345 in the small one. And if you've ever been to one of those bag parties, I love them, by the way. I have a friend that sells the 31 bags. This bag is worth $100 by itself. It's the cutest thing since sliced bread. People ask me if they can buy it. And if you're a man out there and you want, we do have non-pink versions. We have a black and a gray uh, that is available too because we do have men on our team. I have a stay-at-home dad, a firefighter, a student. So uh, men do this as well. So if you know some college kids that do not have jobs this summer, this is a great opportunity. My top seller one year was a nursing student at NHTI. And she worked it around her schedule. She worked it around her finals. And, um, you know, she even had shows with some of her professors. So there's business everywhere. You do business. You get your hair cut. You get your nails done. You go play. Places, you should be going places that are going to reciprocate the dentist, the doctors, those type of places are where you're going to get your business from. Great. Any other questions? I'm trying to think of questions I've been asked. Are you um, not only trying to sell the product but also trying to build your team? Yes. There are three ways that we earn income with Pampered Chef. So our goal is threefold. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to offer products to help make people's kitchen happier. Whether that's, I hate to cook and I just want to get out of the kitchen. You saw me do two microwave fast, health, well, yeah. almost healthy recipes in and out of the kitchen. Or for people who love to cook, giving them the opportunity to be able to explore more cooking. The second way is to book shows. That's the second thing we do there, which is extending our business. Mm -hmm. So in a room this size with about 10 people here, at least two or three of you are considering hosting a show. And by the time we're done, I'm going to explain to you why you want to host it this month. Then the third thing we do is we offer the opportunity to people because we never want to prejudge. I don't know whether from up here, whether you went to bed last night worrying about whether you could pay your mortgage or not, or whether you dropped your child off at daycare and cried all the way to work because your baby is so tiny. I don't know whether you're trying to pay off the orthodontist bill, which is one of the reasons I went full time. I wanted a new car and I wanted to pay off my ortho bill for my daughter before it actually came off her teeth. Or when I started, I started because I wanted cute shoes. And we called it, is it necessary money in my household? Because I came home with yet another pair of cute shoes. And my husband went, is that necessary? 
here because he was stay at home. I was stay at home mom, and he was trying to supply for a family of four, and I had over sixty pairs of cute shoes. So I think cute shoes are necessary, and I was like, well, of course. And he was like, then you need a job, and so I started Pamper Chef to pay for my cute shoes. That was eleven years ago. I had no intention back then to be full time in Pamper Chef. Many of you here did not think that you came looking for a job. But whether you're looking for a few hundred dollars a month, which is all I needed before, or a few thousand dollars a month, this is a vehicle that can get you from where you are to where you want to be.